Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today I will be taking you through the whole inventory. Alright, so by inventory obviously. I mean this. Oh no, not this. Sorry. This. All these things. Right? I will be taking you through all of that. So yeah, let's just jump straight to it. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, inventory management is actually very, very important in uh, this game because it's a Souls-like game. In every Souls-like game, inventory management is extremely important. First of all, these these right here are your basic items, right? I don't think you can even remove these items, right? So these are the, your basic items. You already know about the pole cell, the one that heals you. This is the one that used to... Uh, grinder is used to repair your weapon. This is a Monaz lamp. If you haven't used it yet, this is what it does. See? Um, okay, I have to press G. G, see? I can just press R, close it. This is just a flashlight. So, last resort. Now, I, I, don't, I don't exactly understand the purpose of this, to be honest. Because it just kills you, right? It kills you, and all of your ergo will remain where you died. Now, I, I'm not sure what the purpose of last resort is. Maybe... Uh, the purpose of this is in case you get stuck somewhere, you can just use it to die. You know, you get stuck or the game glitches or something, you can just use this to die and then go back and pick up the Argo. Or maybe it has some purpose in the game, but to be honest, it's just, it's just death. It just kills you. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of that is. right? And this is, again, your basic item. Right, this is what you use to teleport when you go to a teleporter. Right, when you when you come over here in a stargazer, sorry, not teleporter, you can use that to teleport elsewhere. Right, so that's what that does. Now, here are your consumables. Okay, and in consumables, first one that I'll take you through is Gemini's emergency protection. What it does is that it temporarily protects death ergo when hit. Now, what does that even mean? When you die in Lies of P, right? When you die, just like in every other Souls games, your ergo, which is this, remains where you last died. And then you can pick it up. But if you get hit before you pick it up, if you get hit by an enemy, the say I have 3,184 ergo, right? And I, and I was die. And if I get hit, this ergo will reduce. Okay, this ergo will go down to say 2,997. It's not as... I didn't do any math, I just guessed the number, right? So, my ergo will go down the more hits I take from enemies. Although, if you kill that enemy, your ergo will go back up to what it originally was. So if you die, try to make sure you don't get hit by the enemy you died to, right? Because otherwise your ergo will reduce. Otherwise, if you get, but if you get hit by a small enemy that you don't, you can just kill easily. Just kill the enemy and that ergo will replenish all over again. Okay, and then you can go and pick up the original amount that you dropped. So what this thing does, what Gemini's Emergency Protection does, is that it reduces the amount of ergo loss from being hit when you have ergo to pick up so that's that uh gemini's iron protection it base this is like this but the difference is between this uh gemini's emergency protection and gemini's iron protection is that uh, gemini's emergency protection reduces the death ergo loss when getting hit while gemini's iron protection protects the death ergo from being lost even if you die again like normally you die the ergo stays where you died and now if you die again before without picking it up that ergo is lost indefinitely right it's permanently lost but if you consume this if you consume this item gemini's iron protection that 3184 ergo right even if you die again without picking it up it will still remain at that same place. It is just one use, okay? If you die yet again without picking it up, then you're going to lose it. But you do get an extra chance, and you don't lose any ergo. So that's what this does. And this is an urgent repair tool. So you have this. Um, you have this, right? 
This is how you repair a weapon. This is the grinder. The grinder you use to repair the weapon, but it repairs the weapon slowly. I keep pressing on the stock is a it, re it repairs the weapon slowly, right? What this thing does is that it, it repairs the weapon instantly. So it's uh, an emergency item you can use to immediately repair your weapon. So it's very, very nice. Fable Catalyst. Now, Fable Catalyst, what it does is that it boosts your Fable. So your Fable recharges faster. Your Fable is the is this area over here. Right, I'll mark it when I'm editing the video. Right, that area which is now currently empty. Right, that area is currently empty. But that, those three bars, that's your fable. Right, and what I swear, and what this fable catalyst does is that if you consume this, that fable that you recharge when you attack enemies, right, that fable will charge quicker. So that's what this does. Now, Legion Magazine is where I was so confused. I was like, what does this Legion Magazine even do, right? Like, what the hell does it even do? Because it says that activates a Legion's arm specific ability. What specific ability? I've used it, right? I used it, and I don't know what specific ability it uh, turns on. I don't think it turns on any specific ability, right? Like in game, like if you use it right now, it's not going to give you an upgrade on your power on this, right? You're not, you're not going to get an upgrade on your lesion. Lesion is your left arm, by the way. In case you didn't know, this left arm that you see, this robotic arm, the one that I'm using to uh, use this electricity attack from, this is called lesion. And it, if you look at the bottom left, there is a bar over there, a brownish bar. That's basically, you can say my lesion juice right same as how i have stamina that is the juice of my lesion if i use it too much eventually i won't be able to use it anymore as you can see now i can't use it because it's up so if you use this if you use lesion magazine like a magazine it will recharge see it doesn't recharge whole like completely it recharges about a quarter i would say Let's see if it's actually a quarter. Yeah, pretty much a quarter. So it recharges a quarter, consume all three, you'll have a full bar. Okay, it's not even a quarter, it's less than a quarter. But it almost recharges the whole bar. And yeah, I just used all three of them. But that's fine, I could just buy more. I got Ergo, right? But now you understand. And yes, you have to purchase them. So use them sparingly. Okay, be smart with it. Now, moving on. I have attribute, we have attribute, purification, and pole. Now, attribute, purification, and pole, attribute, resistance, and pole, and special resistance, and pole. All these three things, right? They provide resistance against elemental damages. Okay? They don't provide resistance against physical damage. They will provide you resistance against elemental damage. So, attribute, purification, and pole. It will remove it this will literally remove it won't even provide you it, won't, it doesn't provide you resistance like if you get hit by an overheat attack or an electric attack or decay or corruption if you get hit by these they will still charge up the same amount but what what this does is that if they are charged up if now you are overheated right the whole bar of overheat is full what you can do is that you can consume one of these and this will get rid of the, that specific one now this one only if only removes overheat, electric shock, decay, and corruption. Nothing else. Okay. So make sure you use it if you have these four. If you if you have some other attribute on you, right? And you consume this, it's not gonna do anything. Whereas this one provides resistance against these four things. See? Same things. Overheat, electric shock, decay, and corruption. What this does, attribute of purification and pull, it removes their effect. This provides you resistance so these four attributes in any of them or all of them right they will charge up slow so you will if you were before getting overheated by four attacks for example after taking this you may get overheated by after six or seven attacks okay so that's the difference whereas the elements that are being affected are the same 
and special resistance and pull it again provides you resistance but instead of these four it provides you resistance against shock break and disruption okay so if you are against an enemy like that and you are like you just you know you can't parry you can't block you you're, it's, it's it's getting tough for you right or it's too many enemies and you're getting too much of this or you're in some sort of a swamp as it is you know as of over here like you're in a corruption swamp right what you can do is that you can consume this and it will your corruption bar will fill up slowly same over here so if you're getting affected by these elements just consume one of these one of this and it will provide you resistance that's it now throwing objects this sawtooth wheel is just a distraction it's like a glass bottle in uh hitman if you have played hitman you know you can throw glass balls to distract the enemy that's what this is you say the enemy is over there throw the wheel over there the enemy will go over there you can just go over there you can just run around you know just a distraction now this is also throwable all these six are throwables now saw blade what does a saw blade do as you can see it does slash damage okay so you will throw this on an enemy right you equip this and then you throw it on an enemy and it will do continuous slash damage to them that's it okay so that's what this does just slash damage on an enemy this is the same thing throw it but and it will deal damage but instead of slash damage it will inflict piercing damage right it will pass through an enemy it will only pass through one enemy by the way it's not like if you throw it in a line of three enemies it's going to pass through all three no no, no. it's only going to pass through one okay and that is it and it's going to inflict piercing damage to that enemy so that's that this is a bomb that you can throw a thermite bomb it's a fire bomb you can say it just aoe it's if you throw it there will be like an aoe fire in a certain in the in the area where you threw it and it will deal fire damage that's it uh this is this same thing this is also a bomb but instead of fire it deals electric damage in an area of impact and this chain is something that you when you equip and you use it you will swing it around you right i'll just use it see you swing it around just like that and once you do that it's gone but and when you swung it when you swung it right when you sw swung it when you swing it uh every enemy that gets in the swing it's an aoe attack so all of them will get hit by the chain so th those are the throwables these are all your ergos by the way by the way if you have these use them okay use them see 2000 ergo 1000 ergo 500 ergo so it it is it, it is very easy to make this mistake in a source like games that you have these uh ergo charm fragments they call it fragments right so what you do is that if you use them uh say i use this 300 one right i'll use one of them 3184 3484 so this is free ergo over here these are so many upgrades right so make sure to use them so now that's all for usable items moving on to material you first you have quartz now uh quartz is just you quartz allows you to do p organ upgrades right everyone already knows about quartz so i don't need to explain that if you don't know about quartz just keep playing the game you probably haven't reached that point yet uh when you you will meet Geppetto at the hotel and then you will understand exactly what these quartz are very simple i don't need to explain anything because there is no explanation it's just used for upgrades uh and legion caliber is an legion arm modification part so basically you can use it to upgrade your legion arm right which is your left arm and you need this guy's ability this guy's machine for this this is venini right you need this guy's machine to use that legion arm okay so that's what it is you will again understand this when you once you meet this guy and you uh do his whole quest and you meet him at this machine and i'll see venini craft machine over there now hidden moonstones hidden moonstones what does it do very very simple okay it just upgrades your common weapons blade by three okay so there are stats there are stats this oh sorry not this uh probably this attack right so what it's going to do what it's going to do is that it is going 
to increase the damage and increase its attributes, right? Increase the weapon's attributes, especially the bla- specifically the blades uh, um, attributes, not the handle. If you use it on a weapon, don't think that it's going to upgrade the weapon, uh, upgrade the handle as well. No, no, no. It's only upgrading the blade, okay? And it's all, it only works on common weapons. So if you have anything other than common weapons, it's you're not going to be able to use it. So this thing is fine. I mean, why would you ever use a common weapon, you know? So not something you're going to use a lot. I haven't used it even once yet, right? But yeah, if you want to use a common weapon, use these. And then you have Motivity Crank. Now, this thing right here, you need to understand one thing. This thing, Hidden Moonstones, this affects the blade of the weapon, right? And now in in this game, you have two things. You have the blade. This is this is the blade, and this is the handle. So you can remove the blade from one weapon, connect it with another handle. You can make a different weapon and stuff, right? So uh, what this does it is that it upgrades the blade of a common weapon. What this does is that it upgrades the handle off a weapon okay and this does not apply to only common weapons it, it this applies to literally any weapon and what it does is that it increases the motivity right the motivity of a weapon so if i show you like i have this weapon up, uh, equipped right now right you can see attack abilities motivity d technique b right technique is b motivity is d now if i was to use this if I was to use this item, right? If I was to use this item, what's going to happen is that the motivity of my handle, the motivity of my handle will increase by one point and the technique of that same handle will decrease by one. So if you use this, motivity will increase of the handle by one and at the same time, the technique will decrease by one as well. As you can see, if one ability is strengthened, the opposite ability is weakened. So it has a plus point and then it has a negative point. So that's what the motivity crank is. Now, star fragments, if you have had your first major boss fight, you probably already know, but in case you don't, uh, what star fragment allows you to do is that it's, it allows you to summon specters, just like in every other Souls like games. These are just these um, hallucination type uh allies that basically aid you against those bosses which are very which is very very good so yeah if you have that use it now enigma assembly tool th- this is uh nothing that you have to even know about this is the tool that you use to de- assemble and disassemble the weapons that's it right it's not something you're going to be using commonly like you can't even use it over here you need to be at a specific place these are your weapons swords and all that these are your legion arms now these are your defense parts now all these four or these are four categories okay and they all provide different types of defenses now first let's start with frame uh what frames do is as you can see over here look at the stats don't worry about all, all the rest this is wordings trying to make it interesting or make a story around it but this is what matters okay this has a each and every frame has a weight and each and every frame has a physical damage reduction rate so as you can see the higher the physical damage reduction rate is the higher is the weight as well so what you want to do over here is that you want to pick one that suits your build the best okay i have picked this one because it provides me way better physical damage than this Oh, sorry, it provides me way better physical damage than this. Oh, but the weight is a bit higher, but I can manage that weight. Whereas this would be way too heavy for me, right? This would be way too heavy for me. Yes, the damage reduction is good, but this is way too heavy for me. And I don't really care about damage reduction that much because I'd much I'd much rather just parry the attacks and dodge, you know, just not get hit much. You know, it's pretty easy to not get hit. So... That's the frame. That's the first one. Now, these are the converters. All four of them are defense parts. Now, over here is the converter, right? Now, converters provide you teeny tiny bit of physical damage reduction. Now, as you can see over here, it only provides you physical damage reduction rate. None of these other, other attributes, right? Because these are mainly focused on physical damage reduction, 
whereas converters are really are mainly focused on the other attributes okay so yeah so physical damage is super super less but then you have fire damage reduction electric damage reduction acid fire electric acid right these are all resistances these are uh, these are all resistances these three are resistances so it provides you resistance against fire so your fire uh, bar and all that right they will fill up slowly and this provides you damage reduction so damage you will take from them will be reduced as well so that's what they, these converters do and now again you can scroll through the converters that you have of course uh depending on where you are in the game how much you have played the game how many how much have you explored the game right you will have different stuff over here you may have more than me you may have less than me so depending on uh, on yourself on your own inventory just go through it and figure out which one is the best for you now i don't think that the oh the one with the highest stats is the best one no not always because the weight is extremely important you may pick the heavier you may pick the strongest one but then you check your weight and then it's like 64 out of 67.2 you know and now you're running super slow your dodge is super slow and all that that's why you have to be careful which one you pick so now see again i picked the middle one it provides me a lot better stats at the same time it's not that heavy honestly honestly i could go for this one i could go for this one this gives me uh, uh now see now here is the thing if you look into them now i just noticed this this one provides me more electric damage resistance right whereas this one is a little heavier but it gives me more fire resistance so if i am in a mission if i am at a level where i'm taking a lot of fire damage right there's a lot of fire on me i would go into my inventory and change it and equip this one right this one whereas if i'm taking a lot of electric damage i'd go into my inventory and change it to this one okay so you have to change up your builds you have to change up stuff in your inventory according to where you are and what type of damage what you are taking what type of enemies you are facing right so you have to adjust it accordingly now moving on to cartridges uh again you have the weight this gives you a teeny tiny amount of physical damage reduction but these this one cartridges affect your disruption and resistance shock resistance and break resistance these are all damages that uh, an enemy can do now large robots like large machinery weapons they can deal a lot of shock damage to you some enemies will deal break damage to you some enemies will deal dis disruption damage to you so whatever uh damage that they deal right it's going to be reduced if it's one of these so if they deal you damage uh disruption damage shock damage break damage it will be reduced if you have this cartridge equipped now again scroll through them which one you want to pick i haven't picked this one because again you know after this video i will empty my inventory by a lot i will fix my inventory because right now i have too many too much stuff over here so but yeah this is what this does these are the resistance that it gives you so if you are ever at a level right and you are taking a specific type of a damage too much what you can do is that you can come to your defense parts and go through them where which one is giving me resistance or damage reduction against that specific one right which category is giving me damage against that specific attribute and once you find that go through the options that you have right and figure out which one you need to pick which one would be the best one so say i'm an electric gear i would pick this one you see so this is how you want to do it like over here it this provides me way more shock resistance but at the same time its weight is also heavier so if i'm at an area where i'm taking a lot of shock resistance temporarily i'll just equip it yes the weight is more but it's just temporary right i'll temporarily equip this and then once I'm out of that area, I'm not taking any uh, shock resistance, shock damage anymore. I will just switch back to this one. You understand? That's what I'm going to go through. And linear, these are your, uh, these provide you slash damage reduction, strike damage reduction, and PS damage reduction. So you will have more of these as well. Uh, I currently don't. But again, it's going to be the same story. The more you have, they will have different stats. Go through the stats, which one suits better, best to you, especially depending on the weight and the situation that you are in not just the weight but the situation you are in as well okay so this gives you if the enemy is dealing slash damage strike damage pierce damage 
that will be reduced if you have this on that's what this does moving on to life amulets now you there are multiple life amulets in this game and you can equip only two right here okay these are the amulets that you can equip now you have three amulets but i mean not you you don't have three amul uh, amulets i have three amulets yeah i think there's a total of five that you can have so one of them increases hp it just increases max hp one reduces the weapon durability consumption right so basically it will just uh make your weapons more durable right and this increases damage inflicted on puppets so this will increase the damage this increases mass max hp this increases your weapon durability and two more that you can just go through when you find them right and here are your costumes by the way costumes in this game just uh like like a lot of other souls like games right all of other souls games you can talk about at elden ring and talk about a lot of other games right so uh so the entire souls genre the dark souls and stuff like that over there you have outfits such as armors and stuff like that 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 give you stats they will have stats they will have a magic resistance stats they will have an armor stat they will have a specific they will have specific stats whereas this game actually doesn't have any stats they just have an outfit so you f if you find outfits you can just put them on you know whichever one you like so over here you can just get creative whatever outfit you want to wear just wear it if you like it over here you can go for looks you don't need to go for stats right because stats don't matter in lies of piero because there are no stats when it comes to outfits so there's there, no none of these outfits are going to provide you armor or anything they're just outfits that you will get throughout the game as you progress so yeah that's it about costumes over here you have your gestures gestures are just emos that you can do uh by the way the same but you can equip emotes by the way how do you use emotes I i'll just tell you in your upper belt or in your lower in, lo in your lower belt what you can do is that you go into just one of them either one of them whichever one you want to go in i'll go to upper belt press spacebar to equip right go to gestures and now you can equip them now you can equip one of them now say i equip this and now i have this equipped i can use i can even equip another one like this go in game press t of whichever button your is and you'll switch through press r over again whatever button you have and he will do p will do an emote like that that's an emote or right, well, a gesture same thing and over here you have your collect collectibles these are all the notes and everything notes and papers and pictures that you collect throughout the game throughout the map so if you want to if this is where it, it is already uh, stored in case you didn't know and if you want to really go back to them and you know read them or whatever you can just uh press f if you're playing or playing on pc of course or whatever but button that is appropriate to whatever console you're playing on and yeah, you can just go through them pretty pretty simple and there are some quest items that will be stored over here as well such as this fade vessel so yeah that's it for the inventory and one thing that i will tell you guys don't store up on everything and also these consumables that you see right use them like use them don't just keep them these throwables use them and you don't need 15 of these sawtooth uh these things okay you don't need all of them <laughs> so just use them just like that okay use them or destroy them or whatever because they they will take a lot of your storage away from you and that's something that is very very bad in this game if you have if you're slightly heavy like see i'm slightly heavy what i will be doing now is that i will be removing a lot of these consumables because in souls like games i don't really use a lot of consumables especially throwing throwable items i don't use them i just don't okay i just enjoy going with my blade and just fighting them like that right i don't really care about throwing stuff and you know stuff like that so that's not something that i do that's not something that i've ever done but yeah that'll be it for the inventory if you got any value from this video make sure to subscribe to my channel like the video 
uh give the video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell as well i will truly really appreciate it and once again i will mention kick i stream on kick every single day so make sure to follow me on my kick account the, the link will be in the description my instagram accounts link will be in the description as well i post a lot of content over there i don't post yet i will be posting a lot of content over there very very soon so yeah uh subscribe to my channel on youtube as well because i stream on youtube as well so yeah that'll be it for the video and thank you guys very much for watching bye bye